Hello everyone, welcome to Bentec. Uh, today we'll be showing you how to remove a password from uh, Excel database. Uh, for example, I have mine here and I want to view my project and I cannot access the password. I have tried, I don't remember. Now I want to break it off. I don't have any software. I don't have an application for my PC, but then I want to remove it. So what are we going to do? Uh, you have to close this all, come back to this uh, project or this uh, file that you have in here. And the first thing first is you have to make a copy of it, right click and paste it. So now I've made my copy in here. Now this copy we're going to is the one we're going to manipulate with to break up the password. So we're going to right click on it and rename. So the renaming we're going to rename this XLSM extension. In case you don't see extension from uh, your PC, you just go to view and check on these file extensions. Uh, from here, right click on it, rename and uh, highlight that all and you remove it and put there zip once you put it as zip you can press enter and you kind of warning but you don't mind about that just saying yes so this is going to be a zipped file and now once you've zipped it next thing we're going to do is uh, right click on it and extract it to a specific folder that you want for me i'm just going to extract to the same folder uh, the same folder name it should be so i just click ok and right here I have my copy which has already been extracted so I'm going to open this file and you here you're going to get something like four files out of these files we're going to deal with the third one which says Excel so this Excel you double click on and open it and we're going to get for the this file called VBA project dot bin this is what we're going to manipulate with so this one what you're going to do here is right click on it and open with open with a hex editor in case you don't have a hex editor just go to google search or whatever search engine you're using and type in there hex editor and whatever website you're going to pick from it actually works perfectly i already downloaded it so i'm just going to open my file and i'm just going to open it like this once you get this um depends on the hex editor you downloaded you're going to look for the search button which is right up here for mine then you click OK. Then from here, just go and search for DBP, uh, DBB, and you search for it. Um, once you get it, it automatically shows it highlighted in here. In case your computer does not show, maybe it is hidden somehow. Maybe it's hidden like this. You're just going to click on this. One thing changes. You just um, going to move it and be able to should be able to show you D. PB. Now what we're going to do here is just remove the B and change to any letter you feel like. Me, I'm going to put it as X. And um, so once I've changed as X, the next thing you're going to do is just go and save it. Don't say save us, just say save. Once you're finished to save, uh, close everything and close even this you can go back using the back button or you can just click on your folder so this is our copy folder that we extracted you can open it now we are back to these four files of ours highlight all of them and send them to zip you can compress them just compress it and say okay give it a name you want uh, let me say no password whatever name you want it to be so i'm going to put my no password and i say okay once you're done with that the next thing you're going to do is put back the previous way it was which was xl sm that is uh, how it was before before we made it a zip so now you're going to put that and say okay once you're done with that you to bring some warning again but just ignore and say yes now you can see your file is back the way it was but now this one i'm going to open it and once you open it gives you another warning that he, it maybe is trying to recover so just say yes don't mind about that so it gives another warning like the it contains invalid key at dpx but that that is what we changed it doesn't matter just go ahead and say yes 
and some of these other things you can ignore them close it and you'll be able to see your database so i have my database here i can be able to use anything that i want as it is however you can still access your code if in case you wanted it it's still not accessible but once you bring that to pop up something just ignore it and go ahead to tools so when you're in tools come to vba project properties and come to protection that is how you're going to access your code because it's locked for viewing so once you come to protection check this and say okay once that is done close now everything close even this it will pop up that you need to save so just save it don't forget to save save until we redirect you to choose one location which i'm going to say desktop and i'm going to just save my file in there once that is done close everything and this is my file with no password it is on the desktop here so now i'm going to open it when you open like this mm, there it is so open this go to view check the vba ah you see my code my code is actually very accessible now i can be able to edit whatever i want to do in this so thank you guys uh, that's all if you like this video please uh, share and also subscribe i'll be grateful bye